episode. So the park recently got a new all-star attraction with the Carnotaur couple that resembled the dinosaurs from the Disney movie. Since the other creature that was added before that was another carnivore, it was time to add a plant eater, and this time it was in the form of a dreadnoughtus. A large plan had been reserved for it, and the build of the creature made it the perfect candidate. Eventually a Diplodocus would be added, but the Diplodocus was one of the animals that would require the most space since it was so horizontally built. The Dreadnoughtus, however, was very stout in the sense that it had a small square-shaped body with an incredible long neck that raced vertically rather than horizontally. The Brachiosaurus had a similar build, but the Dreadnoughtus made more of an impression. Since their necks were so long, people could already see glimpses of it at the park's entrance even though they were further than the Apatosaurus. Since their bodies did not take up that much space, it was decided to add four of these magnificent dinosaurs to the park. The sedation process was easy because of the slow nature of these giants, but their long necks did end up getting in the way as they hit the ground or fence hard on impact. Nevertheless, they were transported with ease and put in their new living habitat. They never seemed in disarray with the moving or the relocation to their pen, and rather seemed to like it. They had a great view over the rest of the park, making sure there was always something interesting for them to see, and they could even look over the fence down to the people below them. Then it was time for another dinosaur, and this time it was a very special kind. Several audience members had sent in letters and comments referring to a news article that recently new discoveries on dinosaurs had been made on an island known as Skull Island. The initial expedition there ended up in a bloodbath with lots of the crew dying, but their sacrifice did result in the discovery of new dinosaurs never before seen. The most prominent was the Vasatosaurus rex, or V-rex for short. This predator was the largest carnivore on the island, and had relations to the T-Rex, a species that yet had to see the light of day in this specific park. Their bodies were 40 to 50 feet long, and they could clock at 25 miles per hour on short stretches, which was surprisingly fast for a dinosaur built like a tank. What else was very unique were its teeth that almost resembled a mishmash of large grinders rather than a proper row of teeth. This could have indicated that these dinosaurs were sloppy eaters, often also ripping off and crunching bones in the process of devouring their prey. Scientists all over the world were obsessed by these new predators and everyone wanted to see a glimpse of the V-Rex. What was also unique was that though V-Rexes were seen on hunting alone, it was not uncommon to see them showcase group behavior. Much like the Allosaurus, they could actually move around in small packs and thus, for this pen, three V-Rexes were flown in. Since the information on these recently discovered dinosaurs were limited, 
they advised the rangers extreme caution when heading into the holding pen to put them down. Luckily by then the crew was pretty well trained and the V-Rex reacted the same way on the formula like all the other dinosaurs did. The transportation to the pen was once again big news with all the presses and it was the first time in the park that predators of this size were put in the pen with more than just two. Not many carnivores with this skill could do this, so it would be a rare occurrence in the long run. For a dinosaur that looked so frightening, the V-Rex showcased a surprising amount of calm behavior. They seemed to give an immediate liking to their new living space, and it might have also been because they were so close to each other that they each felt safe and secure. They were a true sight to behold, and were a big reason for many to come visit the park, even if they had done so before. But the true beauty was that on Skull Island, not only the V-Rex was discovered, but a bunch of other dinosaurs as well. One of them was the Ferocitus. This surprisingly small-built dinosaur was considered among the more dangerous prey on the island. Rather than running away from a predator, it more often than not chose to stay in fight, breaking the legs of any carnivore that tried to eat it. If the Ferocitus was amongst more of their own, they could even be seen taking the dominant stance and outmaneuvering a larger predator like a V-Rex. There was much weaker prey to be found on the island, and also more nutritious since the bone structure of the Ferocitus was so much thicker and dense, leaving less room for meat and flesh. But the result was that these Triceratops-like creatures were considered very aggressive. The rangers did not heed much warning when they entered the cage, since they were so much smaller than a trike. But these herbivores actually actively attacked the jeeps and even managed to mess one up pretty badly. Repairs were in order, but in the end, all five of the new dinosaurs were sedated and ready for transport. The discovery of these new dinosaur species was such big news worldwide. It opened the boundaries of what we could find elsewhere if we just looked hard enough. Stories told of other never before seen dinosaurs and even hybrids and mixes that were never deemed possible up until now. When the Ferocitus had arrived at their pen, they initially seemed in quite a panic. In a way, they showcased similar behavior to that of the woolly rhino, to which they could actually share family history to. They seemed just as jittery and group-minded, and the sudden iron boundaries did not sit well with many of them. There was a lot of stampeding and running around, but one by one they seemed to calm down. Two of the new dinosaurs were the first to succumb to their new reality, and the others followed slowly. They were still a big hit, but it was more so because of their recent discovery and their looks since something like a trike was still more impressive. But paired up with the V-Rexes, they were now the latest talk of the town, and everyone could not wait on what would come next.